Hello everybody and welcome to the latest edition of Cantata of the Week. My name is Christoph Gens and I was fortunate enough to be involved in quite a few of the performances and recordings of the uh, Bach Cantata Pilgrimage 20 years ago and it gives me great pleasure to introduce this week's cantata to you, which is Cantata 172, A Schallet Ihr Lieder. This is one of the earliest cantatas Bach has written. He wrote it in 1714, just two weeks after he had been promoted to uh, Konzertmeister in Weimar. And it, it is a cantata that he seems to have been very fond of himself since he returned to the musical material a, a few more times throughout his later life. Um, in fact, the version that we are presenting here is a version he created 10 years later after having just moved to Leipzig to become the Thomas Cantor. And this was in 17, 1724 when he created this new version. Up a tone in D major from the original one is in C major. So it shows that he must have appreciated this, this music um, and, and therefore used it quite frequently. Anyway. What can I say about this cantata? It's a very festive cantata. It uh, uses three trumpets and I can still recall this excitement of all the voices joining together and uh, with this great introduction, a schallet ihr Lieder. Um, really a very exciting sound, actually really captured very well on the CD. Then you have this beautiful uh, fugato middle tile, Gott will sich die Seelen zu tempeln. Very nice, offering a very effective and nice contrast. This is followed by bass recitative um, using Jesus' words. Um, now, the interesting thing about this recitative is that usually we singers, we are always concerned about, the, about high notes. Um, that's always our thing. Here, it is a low note that is quite challenging. In the original version, C major, this is a low C. Um, luckily, we did the version upitone, so uh, it ends on a low D, still, still quite a challenge um, for, for any bass. Um, this is followed by a very festive and triumphant bass aria called uh, Heiligste Dreieinigkeit. Again, reminds us more of a trumpet concerto, extremely virtuosic writing for the first trumpet, lots of runs and uh, yeah, beaut beautifully played as well and beautifully sung, of course. Um, this leads to the best moment of every cantata, which is usually the tenor aria. Um, but seriously, this is, this is actually a very beautiful tenor aria describing the soul's paradise through which um, God's spirit gently blows. Um, quite interesting is the instrumentation, all the strings, uh, all the upper strings are combined to just one melodic line. Um, then the tenor takes over this line and together with the bass part forms this trinity again. And for me, this aria, I've always, I've always loved singing this aria. Um, and I, I think that I, I sang it in my audition for John Elliot more than 20 years ago, obviously. I don't remember if it was in 97 or 98, but I do remember that I sang this aria to him. And then, of course, it gave me great pleasure to record it with him during the pilgrimage. Um, this is followed by an equally beautiful duet for soprano and alto. In fact, it's a trio because the oboe also plays an, uh, has an important melodic line in there. And after a chorale, we go back to the opening movement. It gives me great pleasure to present the, this recording to you and all the other all the other CDs are available through the SDG shop, which you can find here or on the website. And it's another great example of how we really should know Bach's cantatas in order to appreciate his um, musical genius fully. Well, with these wise words, I hope that you enjoy this week's cantata, 172, A Schallet, Ihr Lieder. <laughs>